what is going on guys today we want to switch it up a little bit and do a type of q a so recently on my instagram i posted on my story and said ask me any question i was shocked at how many questions i got and it was awesome because i got to shoot an entire almost hour of just questions on my instagram story so if you're not on my instagram follow me now at Cody Boom Boom so I can answer your specific questions. I put all of them in the story highlight section of my uh, homepage on Instagram so you can find them there and go back to them but every single week they're gonna be fresh. But there was a few questions I wanted to take and actually answer for you on YouTube, Facebook and long form video because I felt like I could go a little bit more in depth and give a better answer so that's what we're gonna do today. All right, the first question on Instagram was how accurate are fitness slash activity trackers for calorie burn? This is a funny topic because everybody is wearing trackables now, wearables. Actually, I'm wearing one right now. I'm wearing an Apple Watch and it tracks your steps, it tracks your heart rate, it tracks your calories burned. But what studies are showing is that they're actually not that accurate. One study showed differences between 20 all the way to 93% inaccuracies of how many calories were actually burned. And what they found is in a study with two different groups, one group wearing wearables, tracking devices, one group not wearing wearables or tracking devices, the group who did not wear these devices actually lost more weight. And this might be because the trackable device is misleading um, and who knows which ones they were wearing because again, that's a 20 to 93% error range is pretty damn big. But the point of this is simple. You can't rely on a device to tell you how many calories you burn. In fact, I don't even recommend any of my clients track their calories burn. What we do wanna track is our calories in and every other metric we can possibly track that does not have insane variables or drastically changing variables that are gonna misconceive what metrics we actually have control of. And what I mean by that is simple. If I can track how many steps I take per day and just stay consistent with those steps, I'm gonna have much better progress than relying on how many calories I burn that day. Because of this big variety of, of misleading results, 20 to 93% of inaccuracies, I could walk 2,000 steps one day or 4,000 steps one day. Depending on my pace, the weather, my mood, who, who, whatever these devices are changing the results from, changes, it changes the calories burned and therefore it's not accurate. But if I set up my program to be either 20 minutes of steady state walking on the incline treadmill at a 2.5 pace, I know for a fact that I'm gonna be doing the same amount of work every single week. And at the end of the day, who gives a shit how many calories you're burning? What you do wanna track is that exact number and how much weight you're losing week to week. So if I'm doing 20 minutes on this incline treadmill at the same speed, same incline, every single week, three times a week, and I'm losing at a 0 0.5 to one pound per week weight loss rate, I know I'm in a good place and I know I'm gonna keep seeing results. If those results slow down, all I have to do is add five minutes, add 10 minutes, add however long to that cardio to keep those results going and break through that plateau. This is a guaranteed way to keep results showing and not get frustrated that you stop or plateau because you were relying on a calories burn metric off of a wearable device that is pretty inaccurate. So what we do wanna track, number one is gonna be calories intake. We need to know how many calories we're taking in because that's what creates our deficit, that's what supports our nutritional needs, our fuel demand, so on and so forth. And it's the easiest way to guarantee a deficit. And what I mean by that is that if I need to consume 1800 calories to lose weight, I can get pretty exact and strategic with eating food that is gonna be a result of 1800 calories. It's easy for me to track that. It's easy for me to determine that I'm actually consuming that amount of food and that I'm in this deficit. If I'm trying to track how many calories burned, I can't get that accurate. The next thing we wanna track is daily weight. If you're not tracking your weight every week, how are we gonna know if you're losing weight? The next thing we wanna track is gonna be biofeedback. Some people aren't gonna lose weight as fast as other people. And for those individuals, we might wanna do measurements around our arms, limbs, um, waist, hips, shoulders, so on and so forth. We might wanna track stress, mood, cravings, performance, fatigue, weights lifted in the gym, any other form of metric that you can see progress in, you wanna track that to make sure that you're making progress. And last but not least, we want to make sure that we're tracking the duration of whatever cardio we are doing. If we're doing neat and we're just doing 10K steps a day, that's what we're tracking. If we're doing cardio on a machine, we're tracking the time and the incline and the speed that we are doing it at. Whatever you do and whatever you are trying to track, you wanna track numbers that are absolute and that are actually accurate. Wearable devices are great to keep you accountable, to track your steps, 
to know the time, to be notified when you get notifications or texts, that's great, but they are not that accurate when it comes to how many calories you are actually burning. All right, guys, that's all I got for this question. I hope that helps you and I hope that clears up this question. If you wanna ask me a question, go follow me at cody.boomboom. You can ask me anything and I will answer it here. I will answer it there. I will answer it somewhere, but I'll make sure that you have the answer. If you want more free content, go check out my podcast at the Boom Boom Performance Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. And last but not least, the blog at boomboomperformance.com. Thank you for checking it out, guys. I will catch you next time.